welcome to another edition of Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church here in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Larry Kassebaum. And once again, it's a delight to uh, be back with you looking uh, at you know, some words from the, the Holy Scriptures, reflecting on them, and then sharing in a time of prayer. It's been my experience that a lot of times we take powerful biblical truths and we make them so complex they don't really seem to apply to us. Today I want to talk to you about the love of God for us and how he loves the imperfect and to him we are precious. So I'm, the passage I'm going to share with you is one you might have heard before, but I think it's easy for us to miss some of its power. St. Paul writes in his letter to the Romans chapter 5 verse 8, but God demonstrates his love for us while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, another way of saying that, which is that probably isn't how we talk anymore. Another way of saying that is God looked at us while we were imperfect sinners and he paid a price for us, a precious price. He gave his life for us because we were that precious, imperfect, but precious. Let me illustrate it for you um, from this true story about Bob Weber, uh, past president of Kiwanis International. And uh, he, sp he had spoken to a Kiwanis club, and then he was spending the night with a farmer on the outskirts of town. And uh, he had just relaxed on the front porch when a newspaper boy delivered an evening paper. And the boy noted that there was a sign in the farmer's yard that said, Puppies for Sale. The, guy, the, the boy got off of his bike and he went up to the farmer and she says, how much do you want for the pups, mister? $25, the farmer said. The boy's face just dropped because he didn't have anywhere near $25. He said, well, could I look at them at least? And then the farmer whistled and out came the mother and uh, all the pups behind her. And uh, the boy was just fascinated uh, by the puppies, but one of them in particular there was a, uh, not only were the cute pup puppies, you know, yapping and uh, bouncing around and all those kinds of things. At last, another pup came out struggling around the house, dragging one leg behind him. What's the matter with that puppy, mister? The boy asked. Well, son, that puppy is crippled. He's been x-rayed. Uh, his hip is not um, uh, formed as it should have. He will never be fully healthy. He'll never run. He'll never jump like other pups. To the amazement of both the farmer and uh, Bob, uh, the boy dropped his bike, reached out, and grabbed the, cri the crippled puppy, and he said, can I buy this one? Here's 50 cents, and I'll give you 25 cents every week until the whole $25 is paid off. I want this puppy so bad. The farmer said, but son, you don't understand. That puppy will never be able to run and play as every other pup can. Why in the world would you want such a useless pup? The boy responded by saying, because he's going to need special love and care. And then he pulled up his pant leg and revealed a brace on his own leg and a deformed leg. And so he could understand the problem with that puppy. And he thought he could love them, love him because of his unique situation. I can't think of a better way to illustrate God's love for us. He knows our every weakness. He knows the power of sin and brokenness in our lives. He has been one with us. He understands, maybe not a broken leg, but he understands broken hearts and the power of sin and fear in our lives. And he considers us precious. Think about that as you face the challenges in your life. God demonstrates his love for us, not because we're perfect, but because we're broken, we're imperfect, and yet precious. I don't know about you, but that fills me with a great deal of hope. Let us join in a short prayer together. Almighty God, how good to once again be reminded that you did not choose us to be members of your family and servants in your kingdom because of our perfections. You chose us not only in spite of our imperfections, but literally because of them, because they can be used to bring you honor and glory and make us sensitive to other broken people in the world. Lord, use us as you see fit, and we pray this in your holy name. Amen. Once again, thanks for joining me in another edition of um, Daily Hope. Uh, check back Monday through Saturday, and if you've been blessed, hit share, like, subscribe, any way you might share this with others, because there's a whole world out there that's imperfect but precious, and they need to know that. Thanks.